Hi, is there a way to smooth out seasonal revenue or at least minimize the potential negative impact of it? Because what happens is when we have seasonal revenue, we often spend money. Our human behavior is to spend the money available, right? Parkinson's law. The money's there. It's available to spend. We likely will. And then in the non-seasonal months, when we still have a certain amount of expenses, our income likely won't cover it. So with the profit first system, it solves this problem for us. Uh, from a standpoint of actual business, uh, there are ways to smooth out seasonal revenue. You figure out how to get revenue during the off seasons. Maybe that's an additional program. Usually it is. Um, maybe it's upselling customers. To, I mean, it really depends, but uh, we live seasonal revenue with, in our tax firm. Like, it might not seem like a big amount of difference, but it is like in the first quarter, we typically have 28% of our revenue, then it's 26%. And then the last two quarters of the year, 22%. And so while we're all in the twenties, I'm telling you the difference between 28% and 22% can be significant. And so with the profit first system, because we're using percentages, um, this helps. But that being said, we can look at the other accounts in the profit first system, like owner's pay, profit, and even your operating expense account. They become holding buckets so that in the really big months of the influx of cash, the balance in these accounts increases. We do not want to use all of that increase, right? Um, and so that it, by doing that, by doing the profit first system, putting percentages into the different accounts, when it comes time to have our lower season, when we have not a lot of cash and sometimes no cash coming in, we have a buffer that's already in these other accounts because we set aside the percentage of revenue when the cash was good. That's one of the beauties of the percentage system that we're using with, within the profit first um, management system. Um, a, another option you could do is you could have a separate account. Private First Headquarters teaches us this. When in doubt, add an account. You could have a separate like uh, slow season bank account and you could put money there. And then when the slow season happens, you can distribute the money out of the slow season account into the other ones. So there's a couple ways to do it, but that's the best way to minimize it. I mean, as an example, with a lot of our income coming in during tax season, and then we have a lot of slower months. I mean, we have some really, really slow months. Uh, by having a buffer in my owner's pay account, uh, I, I'm able to always pay myself, at least I can pay my wife the amount of money that I've committed to put into our personal account every month. Because there are months that we have as a firm where the percentage that comes to my owner's pay isn't a dollar amount high enough to uh, make that commitment or keep my commitment that I've made to my wife. But on the big months, uh, it, there's more than enough. So anyways, I use my owner's pay account as a buffer. Um, I do talk about this a little bit in my book, Profit First for Micro Gym. So feel free to check that out if you haven't. If you have checked it out, we love reviews. It really helps us. Um, the more reviews we get, the better uh, visibility Amazon gives us, which means there's a more chance, a better chance that more people can uh, benefit from the knowledge I put in that book. Okay, I hope that helps. Remember, profit is a choice. Have the courage and wisdom to choose it.